Not so long ago, if you needed a website, you would have to hire a professional web firm to build it for you, and then you were fully reliant on them to maintain it. But now, with the rise of powerful free software, you can quickly and easily build a website yourself. In fact, over the last 15 years, I've used many tools to create websites, but the best tool that I've found by far is Joomla. Joomla is a free, award-winning tool used by millions around the world. It's versatile enough to build any kind of website without programming or any need to write code. Joomla is used by some of the most respected corporations and organizations in a variety of fields, including education, arts, media, sports, business, science, technology, health, and many more. Some well-known organizations and corporations that use Joomla for their websites includes Harvard University Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, the car manufacturer Peugeot, the University of Notre Dame, the Linux organization, as well as a Guggenheim Museum, MTV Greece used Joomla for their website. As well as the United Nations Regional Information Center for Western Europe and many, many more. In fact, 27,000 of the top 1 million websites in the world were created with Joomla. This popularity can be attributed to how easy Joomla is to learn how simple it is to use for non-technical people, and how infinitely customizable it is to create any kind of website needed. As you can see from this chart, showing recent data on the most popular website building tools, WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal are at the top of the list. And in fact, if you speak with web developers, you'll find that they're really in a class all by themselves. Most consider WordPress easier to use, and Drupal the most powerful of the three, so Joomla seems to have found a large market share of people in the middle ground who are ready for something more powerful than WordPress, but something that's easier to learn and manage than Drupal. For example, Joomla doesn't require the same level of technical expertise to learn and use as Drupal, but still offers many of the same features, extension plugins and themes, enabling you to create custom Joomla websites that look and function in any way that you desire. Now, although each tool has many of the same tools and capabilities, Joomla does stand out in some areas. For example, Joomla is hands down the best tool for creating social networks. You can have a polished and powerful social network in Joomla up and running extremely quickly and easily. Joomla also excels with e-commerce sites. Now, while it's certainly possible to create shopping sites with Drupal and WordPress, Joomla is faster and easier and has more support for invoicing, billing, shopping cart gateways, and other e-commerce functions. The bottom line is setting up an online store is very simple with Joomla. Joomla has a vibrant and generous and friendly community that is eager to help you get the most out of your Joomla sites. There are dozens of sites providing free tech support forums, free extensions and themes, and even entire social communities where you can find Joomla developers of all skill levels answering questions, sharing solutions, and providing all levels of technical support. Personally, I've found that the Joomla community is extremely generous and much more friendly and accommodating to beginners than the Drupal folks. It feels more like an extended family of web designers who really care about building cool sites. This is in contrast to the WordPress community, which is huge and more focused on building sites that look just good enough to get more business and sell more products and get more people reading their blogs. Joining this great community of like-minded folks is one of the definite advantages of learning Joomla. Lastly, Joomla has some great features that are not even available in any other tool. It's the only tool with built-in jQuery and Bootstrap framework. These are great for creating more attractive mobile websites. In my experience, Joomla also has more free extensions of a higher quality than the other tools. For example, Joomla has awesome free tools for creating communities building forms, blogging, backing up and securing sites, managing email lists, presenting multimedia content, and much, much more. Joomla has better built-in tools for controlling page layouts and overall website presentation. In addition, there are numerous free drag-and-drop page building tools that let you create any type of page, even complex ones, by rearranging and resizing page content 
all without having to modify or write any code. The bottom line is that it's easier for Joomla beginners to create attractive, professional looking pages. Overall, my student websites created in Joomla invariably look better than the websites created in Drupal or WordPress. In addition, although my WordPress students sometimes do find great looking free themes, my Joomla students have an easier time finding free themes that look great and include adequate documentation describing how to use them. In the end, although each of the three leading website building tools is free, many of the extensions and themes you'll need to create useful and beautiful websites are not. More of these required extensions are free with Joomla, so in the end, I think Joomla is a cheaper alternative, especially for beginners. Again, this comes down to the advantage of the awesome Joomla community and how much more generous and accommodating it is towards beginners. So how do each of these CMS systems stack up against each other? Well, here's a feature comparison chart showing each content management system, including its strengths, weaknesses, and what it's best used for. For example, WordPress is more owner-friendly or user-friendly, Joomla is more designer-friendly, and Drupal is more developer-friendly. WordPress, for example, is easy to learn and manage, has thousands of plugins, is flexible, and it's easy to customize, and it's also very search engine friendly. Joomla is easy to learn, can create great social communities and e-commerce sites, has a vibrant and generous community and many high-quality free extensions. Drupal is very robust and versatile and more scalable than the other two. It also has a strong community and is SEO friendly. However, WordPress is often targeted by hackers and spammers. It can be slow and limited, correction, it can be slow and has limited design options and few quality free plugins. It's also kind of a weak content management system compared to the other two. Joomla sites, on the other hand, can be slow and are not as search engine friendly without extending them. It also has limited access control list support. Drupal can be difficult to learn, harder to maintain, and has few free quality plugins. It also has suffered a bunch of recent security problems. WordPress is best for sites that need to go up quickly, blogs, owner-managed sites, or sites that need multiple authors. Joomla is best suited for small to mid-tier projects, e-commerce sites, mobile websites, or sites where aesthetics is more important. It's great for shopping sites and creative portfolios. Drupal is best for larger projects where stability, scalability, and power are more important than aesthetics. This is a great tool for college sites, government sites, or sites where multiple languages are needed. So there you have a review of Joomla version 3, what I consider the best website creation tool ever made. I hope you'll see for yourself just how great this tool is by downloading a free copy and checking it out. And if you find that you could use some help in learning all the features and capabilities of Joomla, I hope that you'll turn to one of our many fine Joomla tutorials here at learnable.com.